Hi everyone and welcome back. So I have kind of a miscellaneous budget wax melt haul and candle as you can see. And I'm really sorry about the glare there. Um, this is the only way I get to film with good lighting and unfortunately there's a window right in front of me. So I'm sorry if there's any like lens or light flare or glare or whatever that's called in the video. And also as I mentioned in my last wax haul, but I don't know what order I'm going to pop these up. I'm having to film on my phone instead of my usual camera. So I'm sorry if the quality is not as good and also if it's moving around a lot. There's not much I can do about that. But these are just some miscellaneous kind of budget wax melts that I've picked up over the last few months. So I'll get the candle out of the way first because I don't usually buy candles. But with this one I had to make an exception. And this is by a brand called Mainstay or Mainstays? Mainstay. No, Mainstays. Um, which is an American brand which um, you can only kind of find in random shops in the UK. I found this in B&M Home Stores for £2.49, so £2.50. And this is probably one of my new favourite candles Ever. it smells so so good so it's pumpkin spice it's not the prettiest looking candle and as you can see I have burnt it all the way to the edge once I also need to trim the wick this smells so so good it really does smell of pumpkin and obviously the spicy elements that you get in most pumpkin desserts so strongly scented this is easily one of the best scent throws I've ever got from a candle so much so that I have another one as backup as well and I'm probably going to buy two more to put away for next year um just because I don't think it's going to be back but I really love that candle. So if you really like pumpkin scents, I would really recommend it. And then by pure coincidence, in um, I think it was called Pound Stretcher, I found some Mainstays wax cubes in the same scent for um, a pound each as well. So I have four, so I'll get those three out of the way. And this is what this one looks like. I really like these kind of cute small packages that the Mainstays ones come in. So exactly the same as the candle. And if I can open this one-handed, that's what the wax looks like. It doesn't look the prettiest on the bottom, but smells so so good and then I also had um I also picked up one in apple pumpkin wax cubes and um I just got the one because this definitely smells of pumpkin and apple as the name suggests which I'm much more of a pumpkin fan than I am an apple fan unless it's like apple and cinnamon so I just got the one and that is what that looks like and if you do like pumpkin apple scents um B&M has the mainstays candle in this exact scent as well for 250 as well but yeah I like this but I don't love it so that's why I only have the one and then we have just a complete mixture of summer and autumn scents left so I'll get these air wicks ones out of the way so I have four of these and actually this is one I've melted so I'll keep that one there and this is in pumpkin vanilla um I think this was one pound fifty each just because I bought this because I've wanted some more pumpkin scents I bought this at the start of August I've been melting it already I've used one and it is so strongly scented it's a real true pumpkin no I don't get any vanilla at all which I'm quite happy about because um I just wanted a pure pumpkin scent so that is what that one looks like so i've definitely stocked up on pumpkin scents for autumn so that is that one and then another few kind of christmas wax melts i also got a b m for one pound fifty as well i believe was this one again airwick in emerald woodland so it says it's morning forest evergreen and sugar cookie which isn't that great of a scent description again i'm going to try and open it one hand so that is what that one looks like. And you get a real kind of spearmint scent with this one. Really, really good. It kind of smells like toothpaste, but in a really good way. So I'm going to probably use that for mixing. But I just got the one because it is quite a strong scent. I don't think I'm going to use that that much because I don't ever really want just a pure mint scent. And then the last one I got was spiced apple crumble. So like I said, I like apple when it's kind of in a kind of dessert scent, which this one is. So it's just a real kind of stereotypical Christmas dessert scent. It smells really, really good. And then lastly, I have two from Tesco's, and these are their summer wax melt and the limited edition ones that were reduced. And so this is guava and pink grapefruit, and this is rhubarb and rose. These are currently, or they were at the time I bought this, um, £1.50 each. So I decided to stock up because I know they're getting the Christmas wax melts in soon, which I'm really looking forward to. I actually have um, one of the Christmas reed diffusers up there, um, but they haven't got the Christmas wax melts out yet, although by the time you see this, they probably will. I can't wait for that. So this is rhubarb and rose now these are impossible to open so i'll just show you what they look like underneath they're kind of like these wax discs i definitely get the rhubarb note most of all but you do definitely get the rose scent it's a really nice rose scent actually it's not um synthetic at all but what put me off buying this initially was i wanted just a pure rhubarb scent however because i knew these were going i decided just to get them because they were so cheap and then we have guava and pink grapefruit which smells exactly as it says although this one does smell slightly synthetic so it wasn't a favorite of mine which 
which is why I initially didn't pick it up. Those are all of the budget white melts and candles I got. I'm also filming a lot of soon, so there's a sneak peek. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.